When you talk to Buck Showalter about baseball, you realize he's playing 3D chess, and we're all playing checkers. So you think you know the game. He's talking about why they throw over to first and how it, the, it, the only reason they throw over is because they're looking at the right knee of the base runner to tell whether or not he's going. He's telling you why they're bringing the infield in, how they have four different levels of in or out. Uh, it just, it's just yeah. beyond what we know. And I couldn't catch a lot of that. Again, I wasn't that engaged because the games didn't mean anything. And but I was watching Saturday because it meant something for me. The way he explained the frustration for Voigt getting hit, because what was Voigt like one for thirty? Yep. He had an opportunity there, maybe his last opportunity to leave an impression for the postseason roster. He gets hit. You could see the frustration. And the way Buck explained how the coach, he's like as a coach, you just let him talk. You don't you don't talk to him. You just let him voice his frustration. Right. Like he gave you like the inside of a way a manager or a coach would think. I thought your back and forth was great. I thought him admitting how uncomfortable that picture with George was. Yeah. Where Mattingly had the haircut. And he's like, look how look how awkward those two guys look. Like, I don't know. He just he showed a side that we've we've had a chance to see because we've interviewed him off the air. But he was he was entertaining, he was funny, he was educational. And I don't no offense to anybody else, but he was perfect for those games. Because the games didn't mean anything. Is he your favorite? But, no, 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 but just for those value. games, because he's going to tell the stories. He, if we sat there and broke down the game, we did more of that on Saturday and Sunday. Friday was totally about him telling stories. Sometimes, you know, the game was going on as he's telling stories, and I thought that was the perfect way to present it. He's taught, one thing, he said, there are some guys that can slide on each leg equally. Okay. He said Bernie Williams was one of them. He said usually when you find the guys that could slide equally effectively on, one, on each leg, they could be switch hitters. What? Right? <laughs> well, now that I think about it, I don't know if I'd be able to slide him right. right. He way. said most guys can't. He said Bernie easily <laughs> slid on both legs. <laughs> it's so and then he's the guy who came up with forcing Bernie to switch hit. And when Bernie was dropped off as a young kid, and, and Buck was the guy who taught all the young kids with the Yankees, um, his father gave him his number. Here's my private number. He said he's going to want to walk away and quit. Just call me when he does it. So Buck kept it in his draw. So then when they switched him to switch hitter, they said to him, uh, Bernie came in a week later and said, I, I, I want to go home. I'm done. I, I, I'm homesick. I, I can't do this. Uh, I can't switch hit. I want to go home. Buck said, okay, fine. He said, I'm just going to call your dad because your dad knew you were going to do this. I have his number right here on the desk, and uh, I'm going to call him right now. So he reaches into the desk, and he has, he has the number. And Bernie gets petrified. No, 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 please, don't call my father. I'll give it another shot. I, I, don't, want, I don't want you to tell him I quit. No, 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 no. And the rest is history. Wow. Wow.